In this video, we're going to talk about the Wild Wild West Titanium Stove from Lux Hiking Gear. I recently took this stove on a three-day backcountry hunt in Kodiak, Alaska. Let's just say the first time we went overnight camping this year, we absolutely froze our butts off. That was not the case the second time when we brought this cool little stove. Anyways, in this video, we're going to talk about stove features, build quality, and uh, price point. All right, let's take a look at the stove features. Reading online, they say the stove is built for two to six person tents. On our trip, we use the Cabela's Ultimate Alignac Tent, which sleeps up to six people. I have to say this was probably a lot of tent for this little stove. I mean, this Alignac Tent has a huge ceiling and it's a very big, wide open uh, interior space. That said, whenever you went outside to use the restroom or grab a piece of gear off of the ATVs, whenever you walk back inside the tent, you could definitely feel a temperature change. So this little stove definitely heated up this big old tent. Now the stove kit comes with the collapsible stove components, rollable pipe, spark arrestor grade, folding damper, and a storage zip pouch. Now I took it a step further and I went online and ordered the optional snow and sand plate. And what that does is that bolts to the bottom four legs of the stove and it really stabilizes the entire package and I think it makes it even more sturdy. What we did is we took two rocks and placed them on top of the snow and sand plate. And what that did is that essentially anchored down the stove to the floor of the tent and it just made it so stable, sturdy. We didn't have to worry about knocking that stove over at all and spilling coals or our food all over the tent. If you can afford the snow and sand plate, definitely consider uh, ordering that and adding that to the kit. All right, the single greatest feature of the stove is the freaking window, period. My friends couldn't stop raving about how cool the window was on the stove. And I was shocked when I was out shopping for other titanium stoves that none of them had windows. The closest stove with a window was a winter well nomad that you can get on Amazon, but that thing doesn't collapse. It's made out of stainless steel and it's really not even in the same ballpark. Nothing is better than watching a fire from the comfort of your own tent. Besides the nice glow and ambiance, the window allows you to monitor the flame. Lux, if you're out there listening right now, when I saw the window, I was like, sold, I'm buying it. All right, the door is built very well and utilizes a slidable air intake to regulate airflow. Be careful though, every aspect of that door gets very hot except the little ring that's attached to the door latch. And that allows you to manipulate the door latch without burning your fingers. All right, I purchased a kit with a 6.6 .6 stovepipe. Admittedly, our tent was probably too tall for that uh, stovepipe. We probably should have upgraded to the 9.8 foot pipe that's available. However, whenever we were using the stove, it was either clear out and very, very cold or it was raining and wet. So we weren't too particularly concerned about uh, embers falling down on our tent and burning holes in our tent roof. What's really neat about this stove kit is that it comes with a flattened damper spark arrestor and pipe connection that folds into a neat little assembly. So we easily fine tune the damper position and the slidable air intake to get the optimal flame. The spark arrestor worked great too. The only time I saw sparks coming out of the pipe was when we had the stove full of dry spruce and the stove was set on full afterburner setting. So we had that thing glowing full of spruce, just ripping. And that's the only time we saw a couple sparks come out of the stove pipe. All right, let's talk about the build quality of the stove. The stove is built using Korean grade one titanium rated at 1,382 degrees Fahrenheit, stainless steel door and chimney, and German tempered heat resistant glass. The walls of the stove body have neat channels that hold everything right in place once you tighten up the four bolts. What this does is it maintains the stove's geometry once heat warping occurs. Nothing felt loose or janky. All in all, build quality is excellent. I'm not gonna lie, titanium stoves are not cheap. I'm into the stove for just under $500 and that's with the snow and sand plate included. I really think this 3W stove is next level. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think there's a single stove that's better than this one right now in terms of titanium collapsible hiking stove market. If there is, I just haven't found it yet. And if you do know one that's better, please let me know in the comments below. All in all, you get what you pay for. If you're in the market for a nice, lightweight, compact, rugged titanium backpacking stove, make sure you go check out Lux Hiking Gear. I will provide links in the description below to go visit their website and their YouTube channel. They have awesome videos on how to properly use their tents and stoves and they give you really cool tips and they, they're doing a fantastic job. As always, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you around. Make sure you get out and go hunt.